Yo, YouTube, it's your boy Rolling18. Again, I'm back making another video about dropping a trailer on this Best Buy account. Like, what, what all they want you to do and uh, whatnot. Hopefully, my uh, phone doesn't run out of memory and cut me off like it did when I was making that fuel video. You have two but hours and 49 minutes of remaining drop. This is something that you're going to want to do on duty. So, I've been on duty from the time that I pulled up to the guard shack down there and went in and got a copy of my paperwork and whatnot like like this copy goes inside to them with the sticker on it and I keep the uh, the copy copy the copy paper that they made however you want to say it but you always have your hazards on in the yard you honk your horn when you're backing up and whatnot but I'm just gonna get out and drop this trailer here on this Best Buy, they always want you to have your tandems in the back when you drop the trailer. So I already slid my tandems and whatnot. But you just like like me me. And this is my routine. I get out the truck when I pull up at the guard shack with my paper. I walk back. The tandems are usually up here, but I pull this out to release the little pins that's right here. You won't get to see them pop out, but. I release that so that way when I pull up, I can uh, slide the tandems. These are the tandems, if you don't know. But but they just want you to do a quick little post trip. Just check the lights and all that stuff. Check the door. Walk around this side. Tires and whatnot. Lights ain't nothing too special. You see my mud flap all scraping the ground looking retarded. Cause this guy hit my damn truck and bent my mud flap all up. But yeah, you just walk around, check everything out, all that good stuff. This uh, weather is beautiful as hell, I must say. Let me close my door. Okay, now you're gonna undo your airlines, hook them into there. But for purpose of trying to make this video quick, I'm not going to hook them in there right now. But I keep a bungee wrapped around my electrical line. I don't know if you guys seen it or not. But I do it like this. Like I hook it there, wrap it around, under, bring it back around and hook it right, right there. It's kind of hard to do with one hand because mine has a short in it. My pigtail has a short in it and I haven't gotten around to getting that fixed yet. But usually I do it right there. I hook it on the step, which I'll go ahead and do right now, but that's nothing, you know what, fuck it, that's nothing major, you guys probably won't have to do that, but if you notice that you turn the corner sometimes and your uh, lights keep going on and off on your trailer, the 9 times out of 10, you can just throw a bungee on there and be good to go, so now I'm going to just lower the landing gear, you do this when you drop a trailer on all these trailers that we have going toward the tandems is the lower and going toward the trailer is with the uh well going toward the tractor is uh raising or you can do it as to the back you're leaving it to the front you're taking it me i put it down to touch the ground and give it one little crank you don't want to put no muscle in there but my kingpin releases on its own well my uh fifth wheel release the locking jaw there we go i knew i'd get it out it releases on its own so with that you're going to want to get back in the truck once your landing gears are down look and make sure both of them went down i already did that but i didn't show it because you never know one of them might be stuck on something you never know always planning for the worst but you press this in and pull this out. Now, you press this button back in. The air came out. Bam. Start the truck up. I hate this daggone truck. Start the truck up. Release the tractor brake. I'm keeping this one out because remember you don't have a trailer on you no more. 
I'm gonna put it into second or first. It doesn't really matter. Any gear will work. It's gonna move you forward. And then you just pull forward slowly. Me, I always pull up until I hear it pop. Bam, you heard it pop. And I stopped there for a second, just in case it can't support the weight. Now our trailers are never heavy on this account, but just in case it can't support the weight, you don't want to just dart out from under it and then drop all on the ground and whatnot. That's not a good look. But after you do all that, you have to run this paper inside to the shipping office. So I'm not gonna show you guys that because I feel weird walking around recording myself talking to people when I'm taking this paper in there. So I'm just gonna take the paper in there on my own. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is what the yard looks like. Nothing too fancy, it's just a yard, plenty of room. But all right, y'all, the other trucks park here, but you can't take your break here. So me, I park down in the pit, which is down there. But all right, let me get out of here and finish this work so I can go home. All right, y'all, be safe and take care. It's rolling 18, subscribe, press the like button, thumbs up, all that good stuff.